Futures on the US stock index is a trading lower. The US dollar is extending weakness across the board. Today, the benchmark US stock index is a trading in the red. The Dow Jones inched down 0.04%, the Nasdaq is 0.3% down, and the S&P 500 shed 1.48%. All three main stock indexes opened the new year with a decline of over 1%. Investors are stocking fears about a resurgence of the coronavirus pandemic. Besides, there are monitoring a U.S. Senate runoff election in Georgia. Stock investors are focused on Amazon stock as on Monday the e-commerce giant rejected the joint healthcare project with J.P. Morgan and Berkshire Hathaway. American traders are alert to results of the election to the Senate. The runoff for the two Senate seats is holding in Georgia. The outcome will determine whether Democrats or the GOP will halt an H in the Senate. If the Democrats win both Senate seats, President-elect Joe Biden would be able to press more of his agenda. If case uh, the Democrats are elected to the Senate, it means that the Democratic Party will win the majority in both houses of Congress. Thus, investors could rely on further stimulus measures under the new administration. When it comes to the economic calendar, market participants weight a manufacturing PMI for United States by the Institute for Supply Management. Analysts expect the index to drop to 56.6 in December from 57.4 in November. In the early American trade today, the US dollar is still slipping against major rival currencies. The COVID-19 pandemic raging in the United States and across the world still poses grave risks for the short term, thus playing havoc with the financial markets. Under such turbulence, the US dollar is running a risk of a further decline across the board. Its index lost 0.2% today, trading at near 89.71. The Canadian dollar is holding the upper hand of its American counterpart. The USD card pair shed another 0.21% to approach 1.2754. To sum up, the outcome of the runoff in Georgia will determine which party will gain the control in the Senate for the nearest two years. The results of the election to the Senate are sure to make a serious impact on the US financial policy. Wall Street has widely expected at least one Republican will win, keeping the GOP in control by the narrowest margin. That's all for today. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned with us. See you tomorrow.